Hi, welcome to another uh, snapshot. In this particular snapshot, we're going to be talking about coming out. Well, coming out of what, Michael? Well, we're going to get to that. Now, our reference scriptures for uh, this snapshot are the book of Exodus, when Moses was instructed and given instruction by God how to construct the tabernacle. And then the other scripture is reference is 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, when Paul speaks of the spirit, soul, and body. Now, briefly, because we don't have much time, we have here, and from the book of Exodus, we see there are uh, three dimensions or three levels or three uh, positions of the tabernacle that God gave Moses to construct. He had the outer court, the holy place, and the holies of holies. Now, you're going to have to go to the book of Exodus to look at the details of what happened uh, what was in the outer court, what was in the holy place in different places, and what was also in the holy of holies. Go to the book of Exodus and you'll read all those details. This is not what this is, uh, snapshot is about. I'm going to be speaking about coming out, okay? In reference to where the church is, where the present day church is. Now, uh, as you see here, God instructed Moses, you have an outer court, there's something that happened here. These were the sacrifices were going on. It's important. And then you had the holy place where the priests were entering. And then here in the holy place is also considered God and man. This is why, where man makes uh, the incense and the showbread, etc., and the different things of that nature in order to uh, uh, get into the atmosphere and get into the presence of God. So the outer court is all man. The holy place is uh, God and man in that particular essence. Well, you can say this is God too because he accepted the sacrifice, but that's technically not what it's all about. It's about all man here, God and man here, and then the holy of holies is all God. Before the priest could go into here, he had to be make sure that he was clean and pure and holy. If he was not, if when he crossed this particular veil here, when he crossed this particular veil here, he would die. So Mo, God gave Moses specific instructions to tell them if a priest was unclean, he would surely die. So now you have the outer court, the holy place, and the holies of holies, three different dimensions of God. Now... From this particular standpoint, this, the outer court, you have to enter in. The outer court is a representation of today's world. The holy place is a representation of the present day church, the ecclesia of God. Not all of us, but most of them. That's why I'm doing this snapshot. And then the holies of holies, of course, is going to be representing God. All God is always all God. Always has been, always will be. Okay. Now. Where do we fit in with the Thessalonian scripture? We have the outer court representing the body because uh, fleshly, right? That's the, uh, uh, that is the third dimension of man. And then you have a soul mind, uh, which is the second dimension of man that represents the holy place, God and man. Remember my other videos. Go back and take a look at it. As a matter of fact, pause. Go ahead and like this particular video. Subscribe to the channel and share it with some other people. Now, the soul mind represents the holy place because remember the holy place is where the priest comes in. And it's actually the priest and a God, man and God. So here the soul mind because the soul mind has to operate between. It is the decision maker between the two worlds. The physical world and the spiritual world. The soul mind is in between. Go back to the video and watch that. And then our spirit is, is uh, underneath the holiness of God. Our spirit is not going to object to anything that God says. Whatever God says to our spirit, our spirit says, yes, sir. Yes, I will obey. I will comply, etc. So now we have body, soul, mind, and spirit. Out of court, holy place, holies of holies. The world, the present day church, and God. Now watch this. The soul mind, the soul mind, the soul mind in the present day church of God, right? Because we're in that in between there, the soul mind is saying, uh, I need to decide what I want to do. 
Not so much what I want to believe. That's all a part of it too. And we have some uh, chaos there as well. But this is, video is not about that. But the soul mind is saying in the holy place, because that is God and man, decision making time. So now the present day church, most of the church, most of the ecclesia is still in the second dimension. God's desire is that your church comes to the third dimension. We've come out of the first dimension and we're now in the present day church in the second dimension. But the issue is with the second dimension of the present day church and refusing to go into the holy place. Because in order to get to the holy place, the present day church, the soul, mind, humanity, man himself must actually die. X, die before he enters in. And most of the present day church does not want to die to self, die to ego, die to pride, die to lust etc. Okay? So the present day church must die before it enters into the holies of holies, the divine presence of God. Now, the other issue is the present day church is trying to make friends with the world. It's trying to keep a tie here and it's trying to keep a tie here. It is definitely not being connected here to the, uh, to the holies of holies, right? But the present day church is, hey, wait a minute. We can do some of these things in the church that the world is doing. Wait a minute. Uh, all sin is not sin. Well, wait a minute now. If uh, uh, Corinthians, 1 Corinthians chapter 6, Romans chapter 6 talks about the sin. And then we have other scriptures throughout the Bible that talks about sin. Well, sin is sin. Yes, there are different sins. But the present day church is trying to say, hey, I want to stay connected to the world. I want the world to accept me. The present day church is actually saying, I want the world to understand me. I'm going to give you another word. I don't know if I've spoken about it yet, but we're going to talk about it. I'm going to give you a word. Where am I going to put it? We're going to put it uh, right here. Let's go. And that word is kingdom. We are in a kingdom. We are in God's kingdom. God wants us to get into the holiest of holies in his divine kingdom. Now, in God's kingdom, the king rules. In God's kingdom, those that are in the kingdom, that desires to be in the kingdom, that desires to follow the kingdom rules of the king, are going to obey the rules of the king. Now, the people in the world does not need to understand, nor can they understand, the rules and the regulations and the requirements to be a part of this kingdom because they're not in the kingdom. So therefore, we are in the kingdom of God. We should not be going out to the world and trying to tell the world, I want to be like you, or you can come in, come in here uh, with me and we can mingle together, etc., etc. Watch this. The deciding factor of accepting Jesus, regardless of what your position is right now, regardless of your sins right now, you can come into the kingdom of God and then God can help clean you up. So we're not talking about being holy and coming into the kingdom. I'm talking about the kingdom right now, not the kingdom, I'm sorry. I'm talking about the present day church right now, trying to make friends and be friendly with the world systems in the economic systems and all those other type of systems and in the social aspects, et cetera, et cetera, when God has said, come out. <laughs> so the present day church needs to come out from amongst the world because the world is not geared to understand these kingdom concepts, right? Try to tell the world to understand tithe. Hmm? They'll say, you're stupid, you're crazy, something's wrong with you, I'm not giving 10% of uh, my money to anything. But when they get backed up, right? So that's just one particular thing. So don't try to get the world to understand our kingdom. You need to come out from amongst them and have them come into you. Have them come into us. Have them come into the kingdom. Once they come into the kingdom, then we can explain them the kingdom rules and regulations and requirements Regulations doesn't mean old regulations. I'm talking about the governing laws of God. In every kingdom, there are rules, okay? And if you break rules, there are penalty to the rules. Whether you're saved or not, there are penalties to rules. Yes, we are under grace, but there are penalties to the rules in God's kingdom. Are you with me? So now, we are to now press our way into the holies of holies. We need to come out from amongst them 
and press our way into the holies of holies, my body is going to follow what my soul mind says. My soul mind must attach itself to the spirit consciousness and desires and pull all parts of me into the place that God wants me to be in the holies of holies. Are you with me? So here is a quick snapshot of how the tabernacle actually aligns with the physical anatomy and how the church, present day church, currently aligns and where it is. It's right here, but it's supposed to be here. It is the in the in-between. The present day church is in the in-between. So we need to come out of the in-between and get into that uh, first dimension or however you want to number it. I actually, I actually like to say three here because the higher you go, first heaven, second heaven, third heaven. So holies of holies, third position. Uh, body, spirit, so, I mean, body, soul, mind, spirit. Going up, going up, going up, going up. So that's been our snapshot for today. This has been Michael Smith Sr. Sorry, I went a bit, went a bit long. I didn't have my, uh, what do you call it, my buzzer on, uh, alarm on to uh, stop me at a certain time. But uh, this is my prayer for you. Father God, I pray right now for your divine people, for the people that have already entered into your kingdom, that we may come to the position in the thought pattern of mind, of thought, of will, of desire to enter into your holies of holies, to come out of the world, to be not mingled with the world or the desires of the world, but to obtain the desires of you. I pray even now in the name of Jesus that you would touch your people with your mighty right hand and pull them out in the name of Jesus. Bring them into you, O oh God, even now, into the holiness of thyself, into the righteousness of, of thyself, in the name of Jesus. Be set free right now in the name of Jesus and walk in the divine will of the master. Hey, this has been uh, Michael Smith Sr., an apostle of our Lord. In this snapshot, hey, don't forget, like the video, subscribe, and yes, Hit that notification bell and share the video with somebody else. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye now.